Guys, I didn't even want to make a video today. It's a Sunday. I wanted to sleep in, but I'm doing it for you guys because it's important because something new just came out yesterday. As you guys know, Tesla released version 11.3.1 to the wide rollout. Now, this is as close as what we've seen in my previous videos regarding Tesla parking or parking assist without the ultrasonic sensors. But it seems like with this rollout here to public beta testers, we are getting Tesla Vision parking assist back. So just this morning, Green D only confirmed online in the release notes of version 11.3.2 that Tesla Vision Parking Assist is finally back. Now, as you can see in this picture here, it shows a 360 view of the vehicle with the proximity or the distance measuring all around it. I didn't think that Tesla was going to be able to do it, but they made it in a way where it really resembles the parking sensors and the parking distances. It uses the occupancy network to map out all the HD objects around it. We've discussed this many times in previous videos but overall this is going to be able to see objects without knowing what it is now on top of that it's going to be running the fsd beta build and from previous videos that you guys have already seen fsd beta has already been able to map the vehicles all around it in the top down view like bird's eye view this is a vector rendering of it so i think this is what they're going to be sticking to when it comes down to the parking assist now overall the design looks really nice it shows the distance measurements and it also shows the squiggly lines all around it, showing you guys how far you are from the vehicle. Now, before you guys jump for joy, there are three ultimate deciders whether you're going to get this update or not. If you don't get the update today, most likely you're gonna get it down the line, probably a month or two from now. I'm only giving that approximate timeline because the number one thing here that you do have to qualify for is to be in North America. Now, currently North America, with the exception of Mexico, is the only place you're able to get FSD beta and this park assist feature is only packaged with the FSD beta. Now this leads me on to number two requirement and that is that you have to subscribe to FSD or purchase it. If you don't have either one, you're not gonna get it today with the FSD beta V11.3.2. You're gonna have to wait until it becomes a public build to those that don't have FSD purchased. Now the number three requirement here is that your car has to be a non-ultrasonic sensor car, meaning that if you walk around your vehicle, you're not gonna see those circular dots in the front and the rear bumpers. Now I'm not sure why Tesla is taking this approach because they can essentially just deactivate the ultrasonic sensors on the bumper right now and use Tesla Vision on top of it. But at this point right now, non-ultrasonic sensor vehicles are going to be using Tesla Vision while ultrasonic sensor vehicles are going to be using the sensors. So yeah, in my opinion, quite a weird approach, quite a weird way of rolling out the software, but I think they're just really beta testing it right now. And who better to beta test it than the beta test testers themselves. Now, Green has given us some pretty good information here and so far it's been pretty negative and I can totally understand why because we've been guessing it. We've been talking about it in every single one of our videos and I think this is the channel for the Tesla vision and parking sensors. If you tune into any other channels, they're literally just going to be talking about all the positives of it and how Tesla vision is going to surpass the parking sensors. But the true facts are nothing is going to be able to replace the hardware. All right, so I don't have too much time here. I'm going to go through this a lot more and I'm going to make sure that I'm going to get all the facts right. But as of right now, Green has says that it is not going to be as reliable as the ultrasonic sensors. It will essentially guess the measurements and approximate the distances. It won't give you hard fact reliable data just as the parking sensors would. Now, as you guys can see from this screenshot here, the measurement is only taken inches away from the vehicle. And that is because the line of sight of the front facing cameras and the hood blocking it. We've discussed it so many times, but the camera cannot see through hard metal and that is the hood. So ultimately, there is going to be a major blind spot right up front there. And they're essentially just going to be guessing what's in that blind spot most of the time. So going back to the picture here, it looks pretty nice, very neat overall. But you see how it starts off a big distance away from the vehicle. And this is not going to be very beneficial to you guys that are parking in very tight spots and in your garages where you have objects laying all around. Now with my vehicle and the parking sensors, I'm able to park one inch or less away from the wall. Now with the Tesla Vision vehicles with the non-ultrasonic sensors, they are going to be having a larger distance away and there's no way to get a very live clear data of what it's seeing. This is what I've been talking about in all of my previous videos and Green pretty much just confirms it right here. I don't know what Tesla is going to do to take an approach to this. I kept saying that the radar is going to be needed because it's 
going to be a hardware that can provide live data. At this point, we don't know if Tesla is going to be using the radar for parking assistance, but it's very likely that they are going to. Now, this is essentially just breaking news right now. So there's no videos out there showing what it's like with the non-ultrasonic sensors and what with the ultrasonic sensors are like. Eventually, there will be comparisons. Eventually, I'll try to do some comparisons, but we're just taking Green's word right now that it isn't as reliable. And from what I'm seeing personally myself and as a software developer myself, I just can't see it happening. We'll just have to wait and just wonder until somebody posts a video out. Now, one thing I want you guys to keep in mind is that if your car has ultrasonic sensors, it doesn't automatically just remove you from the system and you are not going to get some of the newer features. You are eventually going to get Tesla Vision as well, but you are going to also have that redundancy from Tesla Vision, which is the parking sensors. So if Tesla Vision fails for whatever reason, like a rock chip hits directly where the cameras are or if mud completely covers the side cameras or the rear cameras, you're going to have the parking sensors there to continue your parking assist. Now in the realms of full self driving, I'm probably not the best at it, but in the realms of software to hardware, I probably have an idea of what it's capable of and what its limitations are. In all situations, there should be redundancy. And in this setup right now, it doesn't seem like there is anything in the case that the cameras get blocked up or damaged. So I'm still sticking to the fact that radar or future iterations of the ultrasonic sensors are gonna come back and use this as the redundancy features. So anyways, guys, this is just a quick summary of it and I'm going to be discussing more about this in a future video so make sure you guys stay tuned by hitting that subscribe button and that bell notification let me know what you guys think leave a comment below and I'll try to respond to every single one of it even if they're crazy even if they make no sense I'll try to respond to it so this should be it for this video guys I'm only releasing it on a Sunday on my day off because I care so much about you guys but uh, this should wrap it up once again this is John peace out